Vivacious young Nikki would be found shot in the head and burned beyond recognition in the charred wreckage of her torch car. I had nothing to really mourn but ashes. Nikki was dating this guy, Theodore Manning, but she wasn't his one and only. Turns out the handsome Theodore is a serial Casanova. He characterizes them as friends with benefits. But is this the bloody dirty work of a bad boyfriend or one of his jealous girls gone wild? Did you have any idea who would have done something like this to your sister? No, ma'am. It's the latest chapter in a shocking tale of lust and lies that ended in the tragic death of Nikki McFadder when she was just 30 years old. My sister was the sweetest little girl that I've ever met in my entire life. With a love of adventure that her big sister Latoya says drove her to join the Navy straight out of high school. And it was scary for me because it was my baby sister and I felt like I needed to protect her, but she was ready to go. She wanted to see the world. And after returning to civilian life, Latoya tells our Michelle Sagona, Nikki turned her sights from the sea to the air, working as a ticket agent for US Airways at Charlotte Airport in North Carolina and skydiving every chance she got. She was, hey, guess what I'm doing today? I'm jumping out of an airplane. I said, huh, what? What? What do you mean? She says, I'm skydiving and sent me a picture of it. She said, that's all I want to do. And I said, okay. So the single and ready to mingle Nikki had been looking for her Mr. Right on an internet dating site. Was she meeting a lot of good matches? Some, yes. Some, I don't know anything about. Among those Nikki did mention was Theodore Manning, who, like Nikki, was 30, and also a military veteran serving in the Air Force before taking a job at a power plant in Columbia, South Carolina. I remember her telling me about him, but never told me his name. She would always so say, that's my new friend. Nikki affectionately called him Teddy, and she would drive to nearby Columbia to see him on weekends. And what did you know about their relationship? At first, pretty cool. She said there were ups and downs in it, things that she didn't like about him. One of them was said to be Manning's admitted weakness for other women and his insistence on dating them simultaneously. She wasn't looking for anything serious. Well, I believe that, that Theodore Manning was, was sort of a Casanova with women, that women liked him. So he was, I think, dating four or five women at the same time. Latoya says her little sister finally decided to dump the divorced father of a young daughter after dating him on and off for several months. She says, Toya, I am ending it. I'm done. And Nikki would drive to Columbia to see Manning one last time, telling Latoya, I'm just going to get some stuff back from him. But Nikki didn't return as planned. She was supposed to come at that same day. She had to work and she never reported to work and I never heard anything from her. Latoya didn't panic immediately. I just kept calling her cell phone and I thought maybe she was out of town or something. Which was nothing unusual for Nikki. Because she did work for the airline and she would take trips. But then Latoya gets a call from Nikki's boss saying she hasn't shown up for work for nearly a week. How unusual is it for Nikki not to show up for work? Very unusual. She had perfect attendance. Now Latoya does panic and reports Nikki missing to the police. Because I said something ain't right. It, it's, it's not right. Next, a grim discovery in a torch car. I could see a human skull inside the trunk of the car. Who could have been this evil? A jilted boyfriend? or one of his other jealous girlfriends. We had to examine all those possibilities.